Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. I'm the host of the show. Today's topic is, what would I tell my young self today about marriage? Well, the first piece of advice I would give is to make sure that you and your partner are on the same page with the goals of what you want for your future. This is really important before you walk down the aisle. If you're on opposite ends of the spectrum, it doesn't always work out because if they want one thing, you want the another thing. You're constantly fighting against each other to make things work. And this is a problem because opposites may attract, but they don't often stay together. And this is one of the big problems. If there's any instincts at all that you're having about your partner, when you're deciding on whether you're going to get married or not, really listen to those. Pay attention to them, discuss them with your partner. Because if there's anything that bothers you just a little bit, it gets really big later on. So make sure it's something that you can live with for a long term. So here are 10 important things that I think that you should have as a couple within your partnership before you walk down the aisle. And the first one is communication. Now, I know that sounds really boring, but if you don't communicate in all aspects of your relationship with them, that's sexual communication, threw that one in there first because that's a big one that we all have in the very beginning. And that's a very important one to have that you're on the same page, okay? You need to have communication where things are bothering you that you feel open enough to be able to discuss them with each other. If you feel safe and open with your partner, that will last for years to come. Number two, are you both emotionally available? This is a situation that you think, wow, of course, this person's perfect for me. But you might have some ghosts and goblins in, in there somewhere from a past or from your childhood. Just make sure you're available emotionally with your partner. Are your sexual desires and expectations on the same page? Sex is a big part of the glue that keeps a relationship close and connected for many years to come. So it is not something to just try and be the good sexual partner in the beginning of a relationship to keep them interested in coming back. You need to maintain this. A lot of couples will talk about how great it was in the beginning and then they weren't really that person a couple of years later. So please maintain the romance and intimacy in your partnership and discuss it when you feel that it's, it's falling into a different place. That is super important. Number four, do you have the utmost respect for each other? Respecting your partner is so important and respecting yourself. Those are Sounds very simple, but it's not. Because sometimes you'll hear people talking about how my partner doesn't respect what I have to say. My partner doesn't respect some of my choices I make. And this is something that you need to discuss all the time together. Number five, your finances and savings plan should be on board. This is something you need to discuss before you get married <laughs> because sex and finances, money problems, are the two biggest culprits as to why relationships end. And this is something that you don't save for a rainy day. You need to have a set plan that you both are on board with and you're both participating in. And Talk about what you want. What are your goals with your finances? What do you want to do with the money? What do you want to have in five or six years from now? Number six, do you both feel the same way about having kids, not having kids? How many kids? When do you want them? This has to be discussed before you even say you're going to get married, before the engagement. This is such a big part of life. And if one person wants a situation and the other person doesn't, that is not something that you can rectify. You have to be on the same page with that. Number seven, are you supportive of each other's careers and aspirations? They might have a, a job right now that you guys get along great, but all of a sudden they get into another job that maybe takes some traveling or maybe you have to move. All these sort of things need to be discussed because 
if you're open to moving for your partner or them moving for you, this is great to know. And this is something that you should discuss because if you're, you're on your way to a different career, when you meet them, you have to talk about what might go on during that time. If you're going back to school, the money of, of how are you going to survive and live as a couple when one person's going to school, maybe the other one's working. All of this stuff needs to be talked about. Are there religious or political differences between you? This is a big one because if they believe something that you don't, it can become a repetitive argument. I think we all saw over the last couple of years things that have gone on in a, in a political arena of what's happening. And some people believe in one and some people believe in another. But when it's in your home, it's completely different. Because if it's a continued discussion, eventually it takes a toll because it makes you both sort of on guard with each other about what you believe and what you don't believe. And same with religion. If you're a religious person and your partner isn't, and they expect, maybe your partner expects you to go to church with them every Sunday, and that's not your thing, you need to talk about that too. Because it's not fair to sort of push something on somebody that is, that's not really their belief. So talk about that. See if you can come to a compromise with that. If you can't, again, it's going to be something that will pull you apart over time. So be very careful in the beginning that you have discussed it in as much as you possibly can and found a, a situation that works for both of you. And the last one, number 10, is have each other's backs. This one I can't stress enough because there's nothing worse than when you're in a situation where you really need your partner, you need their support for something, and they're not there. They don't want to give their energy to it or they just think it's not worth discussing. If it's important to your partner, it should be important to you. Having their back in family situations is really important as well because there can be a lot of a lot of baggage in some people's families and ongoing drama. So I really, really stress to you that you, you be there for them with this because to them it's hurtful to you, maybe not so much, but please try to be there for each other with anything like this because it's not something that everybody just gets over and can move on from. And that's why you're in a partnership. You're helping each other through different things in your life. Obviously, there's a lot more than 10 things that are important that go into a marriage. But if you follow those ones I just talked about, they're a big part of how to keep a relationship flourishing and keep it, keep it going. And if you prioritize your partner all the time, and, and they prioritize you. It's a happy place to come home to. It truly is. It's when you let go of a lot of these things and you're not compromising, you're not listening, you're not paying attention, you're not making love anymore. This is when your, your, communi your communication and your partnership breaks down. So that's what I would tell my young self today because I went through a marriage the first time and a lot of those things weren't there and now in my second time around they are there and everything's going well everything is discussed there's no there's no secrets there's no drama there's nothing because we communicate and we prioritize each other so that was my video today on something that I think everybody could could learn from because it's not just a young couple thing it's anybody who's thinking of of getting into a long-term relationship and, and a commitment with somebody. It's not just a simple procedure. It's something you have to look at every day and put energy and effort into. But it's worth it. It's really worth it. Thanks for listening to Your Cyber Sue today. Please leave your comments and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Thanks so much. See you next week. Bye-bye.